How's it going, you sexy beasts? Today, I'll be covering the EM-1 light machine gun for the new conglomerate, which was suggested by Nathan Swim on my last weapon review video. If you'd like to suggest a weapon to be reviewed, drop a comment in the section below or upvote any other weapons that you see people have posted. As for this light machine gun, I thought I would immediately get turned off by the damage and rate of fire combination, since I am madly in love with my beautiful NC-6 Gauss saw. But to my surprise, this weapon was a powerhouse at medium range combat, and I have enjoyed using it ever since. Coupled with the 100 round box magazine, a very fast reload speed, you've got yourself a very strong all around weapon. What it lacks in attachments, it makes up for rate of fire. Grab your rocket launcher and nanite mesh generator, and let's break down the EM1 light machine gun for the new conglomerate's heavy assault. The EM-1 LMG is designed to be the new conglomerate's take on the Terran Republic's T-16, or is a near-exact replica of the Vondor Sovereignty's VX-29 Polaris. Low damage per bullet, both an insane rate of fire and a rather large ammunition capacity to match it. This weapon fills the role that the new conglomerate lacks due to their faction's perks, a fast fire rate. There's only a few weapons available to their arsenal built solely to be a bullet hose, and this is one of them. It may not reach the 750 rounds per minute fire rate that the Terran Republic is accustomed to, but is a very strong aspect for any conglomerate heavy assault, as the increased fire rate allows them to hold a stronger fighting presence within close quarters, or even out to further ranges. If you're an avid Vanu or Terran heavy assault player, then the EM-1 can be an easy pickup. As for a new conglomerate heavy, the lower damage per bullet might throw you off a bit. Using the well-versed mechanics of the new conglomerate's magnetic projectile propulsion, the EM-1 is built from the trigger guard all the way to the barrel for extremely high rate of fire, and it's shown in its statistics. Each round deals 143 damage maximum up to 10 meters, and falls off the, to the minimum of 125 damage at 65 meters. In close range engagements, the EM-1 will fell targets with 7 bullets. At extended ranges, it will require you to hit an enemy 8 times in the upper body to drop them. Since this weapon has very low damage comparatively to other conglomerate LMGs, we're given the very delicious fire rate of 652 rounds per minute, which is much, much faster than any other LMGs available to the new conglomerate. With the fast fire rate of 652 rounds per minute and a 7 bullet kill at close range, we have a time to kill of 0.64 seconds. Taking into consideration 30% accuracy of players, we've got a realistic time to kill of 2.14 seconds within a short distance, or a realistic time to kill of 2.45 seconds at longer ranges with an 8 bullet kill. The time to kill may just be a fraction of a second longer than other weapons, but that's just for theory crafting's sake. With this weapon having a higher fire rate and less damage per bullet, you're penalized less for missing your target than say the Gauss Saw. Magazine capacity of the EM-1 is 100 rounds, with a total of 300 additional rounds in your reserve. The 100 round magazine can be increased to 200 rounds of the extended magazine attachment, but also brings down the reserve to 200 rounds as well. Carrying around a massive amount of 400 rounds, you have the potential to eliminate up to 57 enemies with your primary weapon alone. Short reload speed is 3.5 seconds with the rounds still left in the chamber, and a long reload speed of 4.5. 465 seconds when your LMG is completely dry. This is an amazing reload speed considering the weapon uses a box magazine containing 100 up to 200 rounds. Your weapon won't run out of ammo too fast and if it does, you've got a very, very short time frame before your weapon is combat ready again. Vertical recoil pulls up at a rate of 0.35 degrees per shot, which isn't too terribly bad. It's the lowest vertical recoil LMG to the new conglomerate aside from Nanite Systems in S15M. Horizontal recoil is moderate, bouncing left and right with no particular bias to one side. First shot recoil multiplier is 2.3 times, meaning the first shot of each succession of rounds kicks 2.3 times harder than the following. This also means that the EM1 has the highest first shot recoil multiplier than any other new conglomerate LMG. Accuracy bloom per shot is extremely low, allowing prolonged firing to still hold accurate. Muzzle velocity of rounds fired move at a rate of 600 meters per second, and that is just the perfect projectile speed for how this weapon is designed. Glancing over this weapon at first, you might realize there's not as many attachments available as many other weapons. Luckily for the EM-1, it doesn't really need those attachments. The most attachment choices this weapon comes with are all in the rail slot. We've got the choice of extended magazines, forward grip, and the laser sight with its advanced versions. 
I'll rule out a couple of these right off the bat and give my reasoning behind it. First of all, the extended magazine attachment for this weapon is rather worthless since you have such a short reload speed and a 100 round magazine to back it. There's no point doubling the magazine size if you're not taking advantage of that short reload speed. As for the laser sight, it could be a good choice if you're only fighting in close quarters and disregarding aiming down sights. But if you're fighting at anything past point blank, you'll more than likely be aiming down the sight, so the laser sight is completely worthless and just loses its use. The last attachment that remains on the list is the forward grip, which reduces the uncontrollable horizontal recoil that exists in all weapons. With this particular weapon, the forward grip tunes its medium horizontal recoil downward a tad, which makes that cone of fire at longer ranges much, much more accurate. Available barrel attachments are pretty barren, with only a suppressor and the worthless flash suppressor available. I'd recommend picking up the suppressor if you plan on playing a lone wolf heavy, which benefits the strength of the weapon very well. The ability to be near a lot of hostiles and taking them out without revealing yourself is awesome despite which class you play. Only drawback is a slower projectile fired, which isn't too detrimental due to the short to medium range roll this weapon is designed. Only ammunition we can choose for the EM-1 is soft point ammo, which is a toss up whether we should pick it up or not. On one hand, we extend our 7 bullet kill another 5 meters, we also have a slower projectile which would doubly slow the projectile with our equipped suppressor. If you're fighting in areas such as tech plants or amp stations, then the soft point ammo is going to be great. If you're fighting out on large battlefields, then the slower bullets are going to give you a headache when fighting enemies moving parallel to you. As for the sight of choice, I was going to recommend the infrared sight, but with its addition of weapon sway and slower night vision activation time, it makes the sight rather worthless for fighting enemies past close quarters. With that, I'd have to say just pick up a normal reflex sight since we don't have a 2x reflex sight available to us. This gives you the perfect engage range for hostiles while removing the terrible iron sights that are ever present with the new conglomerate light machine guns. Using light machine guns in close quarters as a new conglomerate heavy assault soldier is rather difficult due to the moderate to low fire rates on all the LMGs available. The GD-22S and Anchor are both good selections but still don't fire quite as fast as the EM-1 and also lack the sheer magazine capacity. They're built more for medium range combat to be a light machine gun version of an assault rifle. The EM-1 is designed for short to fairly medium ranges such as 10 meters up to about 35 meters while 40 meters will be about your maximum efficiency with this weapon. If you're using the EM-1 to pick off targets at anything past 40 meters, there's plenty of other weapons you could pick up to make the job easier. This was one aspect that quickly got hammered into my skull when I picked up the weapon. Choose your fights wisely, and keep in mind that you're not going to be a badass for every single range, even though I hope we all do. This gun excels at filling the void between close range bullet hoses and medium range powerhouses. Set the distance between you and your target and you'll be able to win just about every firefight you're caught in. There's a few other weapons that fill the close range role better than the EM-1, but sadly none of them are available to the new conglomerate in light machine gun form. Total cost of the EM-1 and its attachments isn't too terribly bad and certainly won't break your cert wallet. It's a tier 2 priced weapon, costing either 250 certification points or 500 smed bucks, or station cash. First attachment purchase should be the reflex sight for 30 certs to get rid of those nasty iron sights. Following the optics, pick up your forward grip for your rail slot to negate the nasty horizontal recoil for 100 certs, followed by the suppressor for your barrel attachment which will cost another 100 certs. Final attachment to grab is the soft point ammunition which is priced at 100 certs as well. The grand total to unlock this weapon and fully certify it out with all attachments is 580 certification points. There you have it, you sexy beasts. The new conglomerate's EM-1 light machine gun. This weapon is rather interesting to pick up and use, especially since I'm used to how the NC-6 gauss saw handles. The lower damage took a while to get accustomed to, but the increased fire rate helped me out in situations I was sure to lose. Have you tried out the EM-1 yet? What were your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section below, or just let me know your favorite camo pattern in game. My favorite is the loyalty camo for soldiers and digital camo for weapons. Oh yeah. Since you guys are so freaking awesome, once we reach 4,000 subscribers, which will totally be soon, it's awesome, you guys are awesome, I'll be posting a setup video to show you guys my gaming rig and workstation for all the magic happens. 
Until then, if you guys like the video, please give it a big ass thumbs up. It helps out a ton and lets me know that the video was good and that you guys liked it. Hopefully, maybe sometimes I might be self-centered. If you didn't like it, thumbs it down and let me know what I can improve on. Please, it helps a ton. I love feedback. I read it all. Want to see more videos like this? Then go ahead and subscribe. That's free.